Hello Superherd and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I guess they welcome back. I haven't even played the game yet. What is wrong with me? Well, we're gonna be playing it here for the bonus channel. I just finished up a couple episodes of Blazing Beaks. That series will return once the game updates. But this is another early access game I've been wanting to play. And uh, I wanted to try it. I don't think there's any kind of updates or options I wanna mess with right now. I can choose my character that are locked. Some of them, this character is unlocked by completing a single run. Well, let's see if I can't do that. The Ironclad, HP 88 out of 80, gold 99. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood at the end of combat, heal for six HP, six unlocks remaining, zero to 300 for the next unlock. Cool. I mean, I know next to nothing for this game. Level one, Exordium. Welcome back to episode one. Yeah, uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I have no clue. I just saw the cards and the character art and it looked fun. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you are out, end your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Okay, next. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces un incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. It only lasts for one turn. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. Okay. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. I'm ready. No, I'm not. So we got a couple cards here. Player turn. So he's gonna hit me for 12. This enemy intends to attack for 12 damage. And now here I am. Look at how cool I look. Uh, we have strike the steel six damage. We have a couple of those and we have gain five block. So I can either be defensive Oh, I have a couple options. So I can hit you twice and I got my block in there. And that's all the points I have. You can see the points right over there to the right or to the left. Um, draw a pile at the start of each turn. And I can see cards are sorted by rarity. So I don't know which one I'm gonna get, but I know that I can get one of these. Interesting, end turn. I already like this. It's not exactly like Hearthstone or one of those games where it's like you play against real players. It's a single player RPG kind of thing, but I like the card element too, it's fun. So now I do have that bash, deal eight damage, apply two vulnerable. Vulnerable. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attack. So if I hit you with this first, then I can hit you with something else, but do I wanna do that or do I wanna be defensive? I think I'll be defensive. You'll be vulnerable for how long? Two turns. So next turn I can go ahead and hit you harder. Okay. Uh, if there are no cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Got it. Well, we can hit you pretty hard. You're gonna hit me for 12, so I will get a defend. But I still have 71 out of 80 health comparative to this guy who is taking a lot more damage. There we go. This is actually really quick. If you can't see the game, you have to refresh because it's definitely working for me. It's like Dungeon Run in Hearthstone. I actually don't know what Dungeon Run is. Uh, haven't heard about that. Hmm. So, I probably just want to shield again. I have another bash, so I could shield, bash. That does eight damage as well, which is good. I like this. This is really fun so far. Oh, that still hurts. This guy is tough. He is a slaver. So hit him with that, and he's he's done. We got him. Awesome. Loot, I got 12 gold and add a card to your deck, or do I get to choose? Uh, cards exhausted during combat are not removed from your deck. Good. Oh, wow, wait, wait, wait. So I get to choose either gold or a card. I got anger, it's an attack, deal four damage. Uh, place a copy of this card into your discard pile. Uh, this is sever soul and also an attack. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, deal 16 damage. Wow, that is a little crazy. And it also has exhaust. I mean, remove all until the end of combat. And then deal nine damage, draw one card. Oh, I like all of these, but I like anger because it doesn't cost anything. And we also get gold. So I get to click on these things to get. Okay, so I get both of them, good. Oh wow, so whatever I chose there is like my path. And I gotta go up. It looks like there's prizes. Oh, this is cool, oh, that is scary. Got a big scary skull at the top. I was hit by a fork. Pitchforks are, I guess, a type of fork, yeah. It's a new expansion to Hearthstone. Cool, cool, I might have to check that out sometime then. If it's like more adventure than it is player versus player. I like card games that are more like single player. Aggressive, this enemy intends to hit for 11. It's a jaw worm. 
All right, well, we're just in the game now. Discard pile. If you draw, if your draw pile is empty, the discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Okay. So you're gonna hit for 11. I might as well try to block as much as I can and hit you for some. I mean, I don't know if I wanna hold some of my strikes. There we go, I'm gonna block for 10. So I'm only gonna take one damage here. I still have the same amount of health that I had at the end of the last battle. That doesn't restore, good to know. Hmm. So now I could, you're gonna hit for seven. I could hit for this, defend, good. I'm like, this is really cool. Player turn, third turn. So I got a couple more options. I have anger, deal four damage, please. Yeah, so this is free. I mean, I bashed, so I don't know if bash stacks, or not bash, but uh, well yeah, bash is vulnerable. Does vulnerable stack? I don't think so. I mean, I could try it. Boom, put that there. Enemy turn. Did they just, oh, I think they shielded there. So maybe that was a waste. But I always know what they're doing first. It seems like they sort of like charge themselves up a little bit. Definitely block as much of that as I can, so I'm only losing four. Oh, and I get another anger. Well, let me bash first. Bash. Oh, he's dead. Okay, we got him, Never mind. Awesome, I'm really, I'm really happy with that one. Okay, 20 gold, add a card to my deck. This is really fun. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be addicted to this. I already tell, I can already tell. Um, Iron Wave, gain five block, deal five damage. Until the next turn, prevents damage. I like it. I mean, of course, yeah, it prevents damage, but it doesn't prevent all damage. Uh, one Infernal Blade skill. Add a random attack to your hand, it causes zero this turn. Ooh, I like that, the riskiness. And then the Sever Soul again. Hard to choose between these two, but I think I'm gonna go with the skill. That is so much fun. Uh, What's inside? Matrioska. The next two chests you open contain two relics. Excludes boss chests. I don't know what relics are. I guess these are relics. Um, our other one is Burning Blood at the end of combat, heals six HP, which is good, I really need that. A 62 out of 80. Relics found throughout the Spire great, grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. Got it. And that's it, we already got it. Cool. So chests are definitely what we wanna to get to. It helps us skip a floor and we get stuff out of it. I am having a lot of fun already, I can tell. Uh, so this guy, He's just wiggling around. He's like, I have sticks, everybody. Look at me and my cool sticks. Uh, he's a, a cultist, strategic. This enemy intends to use a buff. Hmm, so I don't want to guard. I just want to smack him. So I shouldn't really use my defense, right? Because it's not going to, he's not going to hit me with anything. Enemy turn. He's incantationing. Ritual, gain three strengths. So now he's going to hit me and that's going to hurt a bit more. So definitely Infernal Blade, there's that. So let me go ahead and defend. I'm gonna hit him with some anger. Wah! Oh, yeah, okay. So, add a random attack to your hand, it costs zero this turn. Deal nine damage, draw one card. Oh, this is so great! I'm loving it! And then I got another strike. Wow, we just did so much damage to him there. Enemy turn. He's gonna hit for six, it's only gonna hurt for one. This is so cool, I love it. Okay, so, uh, I wanna defend for this one. But first, we might as well deal some easy four damage. I got Oh, I should have done the bash first then. Silly me. It's gonna be hard to remember the order of things at first for me, because I'm awful with this kind of stuff. But it's I always like it. Ouch. I can tell this, like, this would be fun on mobile as well. Like, this is one of the few games I play on PC. I'm like, hey, I'd like to see this on the mobile device as well. Deal nine damage, draw one card. Ooh, got it. We win. Cool. So there's that guy done. We still have a decent amount of health. We're at 63 out of 80. 18 gold, a poison potion, apply six poison. Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. Got it. Add card to your deck. Uh, tip, power cards. This card applies a power to, to you when used. Powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of combat. Yeah, I definitely agree this game is fun. So we have this one. It's three cost, so it only lasts us one. I'm not sure how much a game is on Steam right now. Like I said, it's an early access, so I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'll try to check it before we're done today. Until the next turn, prevents damage. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. 
Oh, ooh, that's really good. We can also do body slam. <laughs> Deal damage to equal to your current block. That's also really good. I feel like we need to get this and then eventually that. And we got 18 gold. Don't know what we use the gold on. Maybe we could buy cards later. Um. You walk into a room to find, what, what, are, what are we doing right now? The serpent. You walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. Oh, hello, hello, what have we got here? Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Huh. Become cursed. I don't, I've received 100, okay, look at this. So we can agree, receive 175 gold, become cursed, and doubt. Unplayable, at the end of your turn, gain one week. I don't know what one week is, definitely not like the period of time, but I don't really know what I need coins for yet. The serpent stares at you with an extreme disappointment. Okay, whatever. Let's see what we can do about this. Uh, these are... Sentry, strategic. This enemy is intending to inflict a negative effect on you. Don't know if there's anything I can do about that. This guy wants to hurt me though. I don't like it. Block and bash. That'll be a good start. I have one of them. Negated. There were two things happen there. You can only see really one of them. Something wears off, but he also negated the, the thing. Oh wow, two wounds. Two more wounds. Am I getting wounded right now? It's hard to tell. Oh, I can barricade, and I can anger. Okay, so I can angrily barricade. So barricade myself, and then I don't have any right now, so that'll be fine. End the turn. This, I might die from this. I mean, I'm guessing eventually I'm gonna die regardless. I'm not gonna make it to the end of the game right now. Um, these guys are super tough. This hurts a lot. Uh, we got, ooh, that's always good. I might play this. What is this, headbutt? Deal nine damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Do I get to choose which one that is? I wanna deal nine damage to you. And then, I'm going to block. And then defend again. And turn. So now I have 10 of them. So that'll block some of that guy's attack and then some of that dude's. We were probably gonna die here. I mean, eventually, I figured that was gonna happen. So I finally got a wound. This card cannot be played from your hand. Oh, so this is like, it just takes up slots I could have actually used. I understand now. Can I get rid of one of these dudes at the least? Yes, I can. That'll make it way easier. More wound zone. That is a really bad debuff, but it's better than them attacking. So I can angrily hit you. I can strike you and then defend and literally that's all I can do. That's where this gets really tough with these guys. Okay. Hmm. I'll do that. I think we're gonna die here, but might as well keep cycling, see if I can't get lucky. Probably not with how many wounds must be in my, my draw at this point. So many of them, more, more, there's more wounds than anything else and they're just adding two and two over and over again. Wow, okay, that one actually wasn't too bad, because I could hit you like that, and then I know I'm supposed to defend, but I need to get rid of these guys. I can get rid of him next turn. I don't really know if the bash actually helped too much, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. I might die, yes, but these are roguelikes. You're supposed to die eventually. Okay, so hit you, that'll do four damage, and then get rid of one of them. There we go. So there's only one left, but I have eight health, so I can still die. Come on. Come on. Um. Wait, wait, do we have a bash? I don't. Headbutt, deal nine damage. Oh, I get to choose this now. Okay. I'll do another anger, because that's just like a guaranteed hit. And then defend. That might be enough to save me. We might be able to last this. Uh, oh, well maybe not, <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, we are so low, but we have 10 damage we can take. As long as this guy's gonna hit for eight. If I can somehow win here, play your turn, come on. 
Oh, ooh, we just won. We just won. Yes! With two health remaining, we make it way. But we're not gonna live any more than that. 27 gold, Darkstone Periapt. When, when, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. Add a card to your deck. Deal 12 damage can be upgraded any number of times. Hmm, upgraded, I don't know what that means. Deal nine damage, draw one card. Create a copy of an attack or power card in your hand. I don't know about that either. I don't really know what it means by it can be upgraded, so let's just do the pommel, the pummel strike or something, and proceed, and die immediately. Okay, so we have a fire, which is a rest, or we can go to a merchant. Well, which one's gonna get me more health? I'm gonna assume resting wood? Rest or smith, upgrade a card in your deck, heal for 30% of your max HP, 24. I really need that, so we're taking that one, and we'll get the proceed. This is so cool. Thievery. Okay, so he's gonna try to steal something from me, ain't he? Loots, looter steals 15 gold whenever it attacks. Yikes, we're gonna run out of coins quick, aren't we? All right, then. Uh, Palmer strike, deal nine damage, draw one card. So I could, and that's something. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done that seeing how I will not be able to, I, and I, do I still loot the coins there? I do, I hope I get a lot of coins for taking you out then. Uh, this isn't gonna help me too much this time, but next time, definitely. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> I like his little voice. Hiya! I'll get some shields and get back to attacking. You're actually gonna defend this time, but it doesn't matter, I can sack all the shields because I have the barricade. So I have 22 and 10 armor. Where's my smoke bomb? Let's see here. Oh, he's looking for a cavalry. This enemy tends to escape. Ooh, Infernal Blade. So I could bash you, play this, get headbutt, which will deal nine damage, or deal nine damage, push a card from your discard pile on your draw pile, or draw one card. Um, it doesn't really matter because, like I don't want pommel, because I'm gonna draw a card I can't use right now. I mean, I can't afford it anyways. Uh, so I'll do that. And then I can put this in front just in case I need it. But he's already super low. I technically have 33 health. Oh, he's gonna escape. Dang it. Ah, oh, I tried really hard to not let that happen. But I got six health. I have more health than what I came into this battle with, right? Maybe not. Actually, no, I had like 32 health. Uh, but I'm not too that far away. Armaments gain five block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Gain one vulnerable, deal nine damage. What is vulnerable? Oh yeah, that's one. Okay. Gain two strength at the end of your turn, lose two strength. Flex sounds pretty good, I like that. I don't know how lar large our deck can be, but we got two chests to choose from, so I really wanna look at the advancing path after that. There's a resting area if we go left, so I'd rather do that. Bronze scales, whenever you take damage, deal three damage back. That's a good one to have. Uh, 24 gold and a happy flower every turn, gain three. Yay! Okay, so now we can rest. This is going well. We can rest for 24 HP. Yeah, it definitely seems to clear out my wounds. That's a good point. We can go unknown or we can go to an elite. I don't think I wanna go to an elite. So yeah, I think those three like things that kept shooting at me and giving me wounds were elites. You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His pants have been stolen. No, that is the worst fate. You gotta have your pants. Oh, well, also, it looks like he's been gouged and trampled by a horned beast. This, though his possessions are still intact, you are in no mind to find out what happened here. 25% of the chance the monster returns if we find his loot. I'm happy with what we have though. You exit without a sound. Okay, I wish I could have healed there. Actually, no, I'm at, well, I, got, I might have gotten the heals from there. Hmm, battle start. This thing, is a spike slime. It's strategic, it's thinking about a negative effect on me. It can split. When its HP is at or below 50%, we'll split into two smaller slimes with sp spike slime L's current HP. Wow, I don't like that. So I could barricade now, because he's gonna do a negative effect on me, so I might as well get this started now. Thorns, yeah, that's right, I do have thorns. I gotta be careful about that. Frail. Gain 25% less block from cards for two turns. So I don't want to use it just yet. I want to focus on other things. He's going to attack me for 16. That's really going to hurt. Um, 
Hit you with this. Hit you with that. That's really gonna hurt you though, which is good. Ow. And there's my wounds. Okay, so he does wound me. Okay, so I have a couple options here. He is still vulnerable. So now is my chance to really lay it on him. So f definitely I wanna gain two strength at the end of your turn. So I wanna flex. Strength is bonused. Now I wanna hit him for this. Ooh, that was good. Oh wow, so I have energy. I have extra energy right now. Seversoul exhausts all non attack cards in your hand. Oof, oof, indeed. Then let me get rid of these. That way I can hit you with this. Do 27 damage and almost have this dude taken down. Everything's worn off. I'm not gonna die just yet. I'm holding on. Oh, he has his two little buddies, but they're only four each. Oh, I got it then. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Got it. Mmm, 36 up to 42. Uh, 12 gold and I get to add a card. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack, deal 14 damage. I don't know if I like that. Uh, gain 12 block. Whenever you are attacked this turn, deal four damage to the attacker. Hmm, that isn't too bad. Deal nine damage. And anyway, we already know about headbutt. I think out of these two, I like Flame Barrier. You can take a look at the map. No, wait, okay, so we're already on the map. My deck is getting rather large, but I don't know if I like if it has a maximum. Either way, we gotta go here. We don't have any other options. What are these things? We got a Sneaky Gremlin, a Gremlin Wizard, Shield Gremlin, and Fat Gremlin. We might die here. There's a lot of enemies to take out. Uh, I could start with that. So I could strike one of these guys, probably like one of the littler ones, take out the majority of their health, and then also get this. That way when they attack me, it'll take this dude out, I think, and turn. So you're gonna attack. Let's see how much it damages you for. Enough to take you out, because we also have the little spike thing that's gonna do damage every time they attack us. That was, that, that was enough to get rid of his shield that I guess he had. Um, this enemy's intentions are unknown, not attacking. This enemy intends to block on its turn. This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect. Okay, so if I could get rid of him, that'd be great. So I can like maybe hit you like that. I do have an extra energy, so I can do that. Cost one less for each time you lose an HP in combat. I don't know, less coins? Energy. Oh, so this, okay, well, it's already free. I might as well get rid of Yoon and then I guess strike somebody else instead. I don't wanna do this one. I mean, I guess I could. Go six damage, draw one card. What, how much is, this does four. So yeah, do this one. Can't use it, okay. Enemy turn. Here it comes. Whoa, what, oh, <laughs> that's it? <laughs> okay. So I got anger, I can strike out on somebody, I could do four damage to you, but I'm gonna flex first. Hit you with that, that'll be enough to take you out. I am going to, he's gonna hit a lot. I see what he's doing now, that's what he's like, here it comes for, and then do that. That'll get rid of your shield and then some. I'll be able to block off some of it, but not a ton. I'm still gonna lose 15 health there. Yeah, I knew these guys were gonna stink. Okay, so. Don't wanna take this yet. I think instead, I will gain the 12 block. So I don't know what he's gonna do next, and I wanna hit him for six. Better than nothing. We shouldn't go to war for two yesterday, not today. Get this here, and get that there, and get that there. Yep, okay, we got him. We actually survived it, though. 15 gold, a strength potion, gain two strength. Oh, that's very good. I don't know when I wanna use that. Add a card to your deck. So I got War Cry, draw two cards, place a card from your hand on top of the draw pile, exhaust, or move until end of combat. Then we also have Searing Blow, deal 12 damage, can be upgraded any number of times. We've already seen this, and then Flex again. I would really like another Flex, to be honest. Draw two cards, place a card from your hand on the top of the pile. I don't know. I have to say, I think I want another Flex. It just, it works. So I like it. So we can either do an enemy or something mysterious. I'll do the mysterious thing. 
As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much crap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical? It looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside its opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. So we can lose 3 HP, 25% to find a rock. Ah, Sharon. Ouch! All you find is cor corroded metal and a bit of burning pain. However, you s you're still convinced it's rock. No. <laughs> Maybe we had more health. You decided to leave the area. The slime pays no attention, content with its meal. Okay. Uh, well, I'll get the rest, so I got some health back anyways. Uh, rest. Very good, very good. I mean, I would love to upgrade my weapons, but I really need to get more health. We're, we're making our way back up. We were back at like two health. We're already of the 53. Um, now what? Oh, we're at the end. Holy cow, what is this thing? Mode shift, okay, what is happening? I don't know, something happened, player turn, first turn, what is happening? We have the guardian, defensive. This enemy intends to block and use a buff. Okay. Mode shift, after taking 30 damage, changes to a defensive mode. Crazy, has 220 health. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more until then, until here. Let's try something like that and really hit him hard right away. Exhaust all of your non-attack cards in your hand, deal 20 damage. Okay, if I'm gonna do that, might as well do that, and then do that. Okay, so you're already down to the mode shift. Enemy turn. I am for sure gonna die, maybe. If we've been saying this all run, though. Okay, so I might as well barricade now. And leave it at that. Oh, everything's cheaper now. Which is, no it's not. It's just, oh, it was red because I can't afford it. Enemy turn. You're not gonna do, oh wait, no, you can still attack when you're like this, really? Aggressive. This enemy intends to use a buff that an attack for eight damage two times, so 16 damage. Sharp hide, whenever you attack, take three damage. What am I supposed to do about that? I guess just deal with it. Yeah, I'm so dead. I am so dead. What can I really do? Hmm, lots of options here. I think I want to flex, do the bash, then do anger. Maybe it wasn't the best combination, but it did do some good damage. He's out of his offensive mode. He's gonna hit for 20 damage, John. Huh? Oh no, ouch, 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 ouch. But that does hit him a little bit, which is, you know, at least some kind of bonus. I need to defend as much as I can. Uh, oh, he's going back to this mode. Tip, energy cost. Yeah, I, I already know that. I was not paying attention. I am so dead here. Even if I have 22, if you include the armor. Oh, he didn't do anything down. Which is good for me. He's still in this mode down. I wanna try this, but it'll hurt me too. I mean, he's gonna hit me here. So I, I gotta hit back. So let me do pummel strike. Oh, I blocked some of that. Better than nothing, right? He's gonna hit me anyways. I got a lot of blocker and a 12 health rip, but I still also have 14 armor. So it's helping. I, if I could get, I got passed through half of his health, which is actually pretty cool. So I can go ahead and block this. And then I definitely want to add more. So I'm gonna do that. Anger strike him. And now we're, we have more armor than we have health. Use the potions. Yeah, I forgot about those. Oh gosh. Throw at him. Wait, how do I throw? Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Go about this dude. Gain two strength. Throw that at me. Oh my gosh, I'm the biggest dingus. Thank you for reminding me. I'm the biggest dingus, but also for being helpful. Okay, I got him there. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Oh, it's getting close. Uh. Okay. Sever soul, exhaust all your non-attack cards in your hand, deal 18 damage. Not doing that right away. At first, I'm going to Flex, oh wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, I'm going to hit that stuff. Oh, but, oh. Oh, it's getting close. And it's getting way too close for comfort. We have 22, we can win this. Oh, he's poisoned, he's still taking damage. He's still taking damage. If I can hit him one more time. Hit him with the anger. We got him, hey, that was great. I'm having so much fun with this. We got 96 gold, add a card to our deck, choose a card, deal four damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage, dealt, exhaust. Deal 32 damage, just a bludgeon. Exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for 
each exhausted card. Wow, that's a little crazy. I don't know which one I wanna choose here. I think I'll just deal with the bludgeon for now. That was so exciting. I really like this. So we get a little chest, choose a relic, Philosopher's Stone, gain energy at the start of each turn, all enemies start with two strength. Oh, I don't know if I like that. And yeah, they're stronger, but we get more energy. I have no idea how I didn't die. <laughs> Tiny house, obtain one potion, gain 30 gold. Raise your max HP by five, obtain one card. Runic cube, max HP is lowered by 20%. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. Ooh, I mean, I'm already very low on health. But I think out of all these, they all sort of have like the benefits. Actually, this one is the only one that has like a disbenefit. I guess I'll take this one then. I mean, 30 gold, block potion and 12 block, add a card to your deck. Thunderclap, deal four damage and apply all, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. And then we're familiar with these other ones. I think this one would be fun. With how much block I earned up there, that could have been helpful there. Close. Proceed. So now what? Level two, the city. So of course we get to another level. I wonder how many levels there are. I don't know, but I think that uh, for people watching on YouTube, that's where we'll finish up for the first episode of Slay the Spire.